the sweet corn on the barbecue is one of the best things you can have. And this recipe is really, really simple, but so delicious. Now I've got sweet corn in their husks. I've just boiled them for about five minutes. And that does two things. It steams the sweet corn from the inside, so it starts the cooking process, but also it makes the husks nice and wet. So when you chuck them in the charcoal, they're not gonna ignite straight away. They will burn, but not too quickly. So it just slows everything down. So they go straight onto the charcoal. Now, if you can't find sweet corn in its husks, you can use normal peeled sweet corn and then just do this and wrap it in foil. And now you want to get in there, start to bury it in the hot coal. And as soon as that hits those hot coals, you can smell it start to burn and char. Now that's going to be really delicious. So they can just sit there and tick away for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to make this, my smoked chilli butter. I originally wrote this recipe for it to go on corn, but this on some grilled chicken or a bit of steak is absolutely delicious. So I'd start off with, I've got a couple of dried chipotle chilies which I've just soaked in boiling water for a few minutes, just to soften. And then I'm gonna finely chop them. They give the butter a real dark, smoky flavor and a lovely deep color as well. That goes straight in. So, really work the chipotle in to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Chipotles aren't very spicy, so a little bit of a kick from some chili flakes. How hot you go is up to you. And then some lime zest. So lime, chili, butter, corn, really delicious combination. And then a little bit of garlic. Right, so I'm using raw garlic, it's quite potent, so one clove is plenty for this amount. And then a little pinch of salt as well. And then just give that a really good stir. Now a lot of recipes for flavoured butters, you'll see you get to this stage and then people will wrap it up in cling film and pop it in the fridge. But I don't think it needs that. I think the whole point of this is that it should be served smooth and soft at room temperature because as soon as it hits the corn it's just going to drape over the top and create this lovely coating and the problem is if you go from chilled to the corn you're going to end up with lumps of butter that aren't quite melted so that's ready to go into a serving bowl now see what's starting to happen is the outer husk is starting to really char and blacken so to give them a quick turn to make sure they're cooking nice and evenly and then again any stray bits of coal put on top so that it's cooking from both sides. So after a few minutes these are going to be ready and looking pretty awesome. So you've got this lovely char on the outside and you're looking for that deep char because that's what's going to give a really lovely smoky flavour to the corn. The husks are going to protect the corn on the inside from burning but you're going to get this beautiful smoky flavour. I think the best way to do it is just holding it in a tea towel. Those husks can go back into the fire. Just pull them back see underneath you've got this beautiful perfectly cooked sweet corn a light char on it and a really lovely smoky flavor and they're going to go beautifully with that smoked chili butter grilled sweet corn is one of those classics it's always really good on a barbecue but this recipe just changes things up a little bit so I've taken my sweet corn I'm going to blanch it in some boiling water and then cook it in the husk so that it all burns and gets this lovely deep smoky flavour. But that lovely sweet corn flesh is protected by the husks. And then I'm serving it with a smoked chilli butter to take a simple side dish into something really special.